Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the captivating lives of extraordinary individuals who have left an indelible mark on the world. In today's video, we present the intriguing biography of Dame Helen Mirren, an enigmatic actor known for his versatile performances and captivating on-screen presence. Join us as we explore the fascinating journey of Dame Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren, whose birth name is Elena Miranova, was born in London on July 26, 1945, into the family of Vasily Miranov and Kathleen Alexandrina. She grew up with her older sister Catherine and younger brother Peter. Helen Mirren has Russian noble ancestry on her father's side of the family. Her paternal grandfather, a loyalist to the Russian monarchy, left Russia during the 1917 revolution and settled in England. While her parents wanted her to become a teacher, Helen became increasingly interested in the world of theater and enthusiastically participated in school drama productions. After leaving school, Helen Mirren attended the drama and New Theatre School and later studied at the National Youth Theatre in London. After attending St. Bernard's Catholic High School in Southend-on-Sea, Helen enrolled at Middlesex University's Drama School. At the age of 18, she auditioned for the National Youth Theatre and in 1954, she got her first leading role, playing Cleopatra in Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra at the Old Vic Theatre in London. Her performance caught the attention of Al Parker, who signed her to a contract and introduced her to the world of the Royal Shakespeare Company in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Helen Mirren lent her face to roles in productions like The Avengers, where she portrayed Castling, Troilus and Cressida, where she played Cressida, and Measure for Measure, where she portrayed Isabella. Between 1972 and 1974, she was involved in Peter Brook's experimental project, Conference of the Birds, which took her to the United States and Africa. Returning to the UK, she worked in productions like Macbeth and contemporary works like Teeth and Smiles, where she played rock star Maggie, directed at the Royal Court Theatre in Chelsea. After her interpretations of Nina in Chekhov's The Seagull and Ella in The Day Before Yesterday, a comedy by Ben Travers, she took on challenging roles like Margaret of Anjou in Henry VI and Isabella in Measure for Measure. In the 1980s, Helen Mirren began to establish her film career. In 1980, she starred opposite Bob Hoskins in The Long Good Friday, and the following year, she played Mirage in Escalibur. In 1984, she even played a role in Russian, not dubbing, as the Soviet space station commander in 2010, the year we make contact. In 1989, the English actress played the wife of Peter Greenaway in the film The Cook, The Thief, his wife and her lover. And she had a leading role in the TV movie, The Red King, The White Knight, directed by Jeff Murphy. Shortly after, she played significant nude scenes in The Comfort of Strangers, a film based on Ian McEwan's novel, in which she co-starred with Christopher Walken, Natasha Richardson, and Rupert Everett. In 1991, she appeared in several episodes of the TV series, Prime Suspect and co-starred with Helena Bonham Carter in Where Angels Fear to Tread, a film adaptation of E. M. Forster's novel set in Italy. Four years later, she received her first Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in The Madness of King George, where she played Queen Charlotte, the wife of George III. After two TV movies, The Hidden Room and The Great War and the Shaping of the 20th Century, she starred in Losing Chase and The Painted Lady, directed by Kevin Bacon and Julian Gerald, respectively. Following appearances in Teaching Mrs. Tingle, 1999, and Christopher Manal's TV movie, The Passion of Ayn Rand. Mirren worked with Robert Altman in Gosford Park, where she joined a cast of fellow British stars like Emily Watson, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Maggie Smith. Her performance in the film earned her another Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Alongside other British film stars, she appeared in Calendar Girls. However, the film that gained her worldwide recognition was The Queen, directed by Stephen Frears, in which she portrayed Queen Elizabeth II, depicting her reaction and behavior in the days following Princess Diana's death. This work earned her the Volpe Cup at the 2006 Venice Film Festival and the Academy Award for Best Actress in 2007. 
In 2009, she had a guest role in an episode of, 30 Rock, alongside Tina Fey and Alec Baldwin. And she also appeared in, National Theatre Live. She starred in, Inkheart, The Legend of Inkheart, filmed in Italy and directed by Ian Softley. As well as, Love Ranch, by Taylor Hackford, The Last Station, by Michael Hoffman. And, State of Play, by Kevin MacDonald. Following roles in John Madden's, The Debt, 2010, and Robert Schwenka's, Red, 2010. She played the lead role in, Arthur, 2011, directed by Jason Weiner. And, Hitchcock, 2012, by Sasha Gervasi, in which she portrayed Alma Reville, Alfred Hitchcock's wife. In 2013, Helen Mirren starred in sequels, Red 2, and, Fast and Furious 6, in which she appeared in the eighth installment of the, Fast and Furious, series in 2017. In 2017, Mirren collaborated with Donald Sutherland in, The Leisure Seeker, earning another Golden Globe nomination for her performance in Paolo Virzi's story about an elderly couple on a road trip. She continued to play the role of Sarah Winchester, the heir to the Winchester Rifle Company, in the horror film, Winchester, in 2018 and portrayed Deckard Shaw's, Jason Statham, mother in, Hobbs and Shaw, in 2019. The actress has had many romances in her life, but only one of them became the main romance in her life. In the 1980s, Helen Mirren met Taylor Hackford, a renowned American director known for films like, The Devil's Advocate, and, Proof of Life. The couple officially tied the knot in 1997. Their family life has been happy and fulfilling, although despite their long years together, they haven't had any children. And that concludes our exploration of the incredible life and career of Dame Helen Mirren. Her story is one of artistic brilliance, dedication, and influence. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the biography of Dame Helen Mirren. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories.